going on there guys good afternoon the earth master here on the live stream with an update video on this monday afternoon it is december 27 2021 about 1208 uh, p.m california time of course 2.5 earthquake the latest quake on the map the east coast earthquake country who knows looking like that is the possibility at least today let's go ahead and check out the specifics of this little earthquake coming into the south carolina region a 2.5 earthquake striking around uh, looks like Lugoff. Lugoff. Hopefully, don't get me wrong. I did Lugoff. That's at least that's the way it looks to me. South Carolina at 3.5 kilometers below the surface. Not a whole lot of info on it, but it looks like quite a few people reported feeling this 2.5, which is kind of odd. But then again, different type of soil sediment out there. Uh, these little earthquakes can be felt in a broad area. Looking at the intensity map around the uh, Columbia uh, area, even over to Lexington, a few folks reported some light shaking around the epicenter. Uh, the Did You Feel It responses lighten up pretty significantly with reports all over the place. Columbia, South Carolina, Camden, um, Ridgeway, Blythewood, a lot of folks around the region reported feeling this little 2.5 earthquake, which uh, not 100% certain which fault systems are out here. Let's check out the U.S. hazard map and get a better idea of where uh, potential hazards exist here around fault zones. Further down south of here, there is uh, some dynamics in the plates and whatnot here that uh, pose a significant hazard, it looks like, down just to the south of this region where this 2.5 struck, kind of within the green zone. Uh, so it looks like earthquake activity, according to the USGS on this hazard map, uh, puts this region of Carolina in a... Uh, in a light area for potential hazards. So earthquake activity, uh, not unheard of in this region, but uh, when it does happen, a lot of people kind of get in shock about, uh, you know, what's going on. But it uh, looks, like, uh, looks like just a light earthquake for now in this area of the uh, South Carolina region. Let's go ahead and check out more specifics around the area, around the West Coast. We've seen some activity lighten up out here along the Blanco Fracture Zone. Once again, a 4.7 coming in to this area where we've seen that significant swarming a uh, few days ago now. Also a 3.2 happening a little bit closer um, on the Blanco Fracture Zone itself. 3.2 at 10 kilometers down south here. Not a whole lot of movement. Let's go ahead and check out the all magnitudes and see if we can pull up anything. A couple smaller earthquakes here just on the south side of the Cascadia around the Petrolia, California region, 2.3 and a 2.2. One of those, a deeper earthquake at 17.9 kilometers. The rest of Northern California and the Pacific Northwest continue to be very quiet. Up around the Seattle area, we are seeing some activity around the Manchester region and just around the Seattle Fault, a 0.8, 5.1 kilometers for that earthquake. This zone right here, very capable of producing an upper six lower seven magnitude earthquake um, this could be even more dangerous for the seattle area than the cascadia due to the location of this specific fault zone i've covered that a little bit in past videos uh, pecos texas kansas area seen some a little bit of activity today southern california region uh, looks to be a little bit on the slow side today as well some movement around the salton sea nothing significant a 1.5 at the southern end <coughs> southern end Still getting over being sick here, uh, but I feel a lot better. Western Pacific looking uh, somewhat diminished activity today. I know we were looking at a swarm of movement throughout the Indonesia area and through the Philippines yesterday. Uh, but just right now, it uh, looks like at least over the last 24 hours uh, prior 5.2 earthquake uh, around the Volcano Islands, Japan region. But uh, nothing really kicking up here. As uh, far as movement goes today specifically, a lot of this activity from yesterday, 5.4 in the Tonga region. I think the return of earthquake activity has uh, kind of stretched its way back around the globe. Uh, it's pretty. It follows a, a significant pattern of movement. If you look at the general plate dynamics here, we look at a west east to west movement of pressure transfer. If you want to look on this map, far as earthquake activity goes. I think we're coming back around to the North American plate, and uh, which means the West Coast, South America, uh, possibly could be lighting up here uh, today with some further movement. 
We'll have to keep an eye on that, uh, on those areas today. Uh, South America region, a little bit of movement around the Chile area with a 4.2 and 113 kilometers into that subduction zone. But uh, keep an eye on, keep an eye on this region pretty closely. North American plate, South America plate here, uh, just due to the, uh, the advanced of this pressure transfer in this region uh, from the west. Kind of seems like it all forms down here in the deeper region of Fiji. Once we see this deeper earthquake activity strike, like we had seen that 6.1 uh, yesterday or the day before, it's pretty deep, really deep earthquake in this region. Let's see if we can pull that up. Seven days. Uh, that was this earthquake right here. 600 and almost 640 kilometers deep, folks. That triggered a swarm of movement up here along the Indonesia area, working its way up through the India and through the Middle East, where we've seen a swarm of activity as well. Also a swarm of movement uh, that migrated to the west here around the Greece area. And now I think we're kind of just waiting on some further pressure here along the North American, the South America plate today. Uh, likelihood of that happening uh, very high. Uh, looking at Hawaii, some movement around the southeast flank. But even then, this area looking pretty diminishing. Uh, but that's probably going to return here now that the uh, pressure is uh, over here around the North American plate and Pacific plate uh, boundary. Looking at Yellowstone activity, go ahead and kick this up. Not a whole lot going on there, pretty slow uh, at the super volcano. A little spike of an earthquake around the central area of the caldera, it looks like Pitchstone Plateau and the uh, Little West Thumb area uh, getting in on some movement. Tremor activity at the Cascadia was very null, not a whole lot of movement at all. Zero tremors uh, returning to that. Well, there's nothing, nothing happening there, and it's been like that for quite a while. Uh, at the uh, Cascadia as far as trimmer goes. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. I uh, got a busy day last uh, last uh, day before some more cold storms come in. Looks like they upgraded that 2.9 or 2.5 to a 2.9 in South Carolina. And the wonder folks are feeling it uh, pretty, uh, uh, I guess, you know, almost a three-pointer. So, of course, folks are going to feel that. The reports keep coming in. It has been reviewed. Uh, I do want to look at satellite imagery here and see what we got for the uh, uh, location. I don't know if there's any uh, pumping operations and whatnot here. It looks like it happened underneath a, uh, a rural area. Uh, I don't see a whole lot going on out there. In fact, I'm not even for sure what all these roads are uh, cutting their way throughout the forest. I don't see any houses out here unless they're... Uh, uh, I'm not for sure. This map isn't the greatest when it comes to... Uh, um, detail, at least on the uh, online version. I'd have to pull up the uh, Google Earth to check it out more uh, in more detail. But uh, that 2.9 occurring out here in this field, it looks like. I don't see any houses, no pumping operations, uh, at least according to this map. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe out there. We will chat you guys a little bit later on. Peace out.